What is going on guys? Welcome back to the Mother Effort channel. This is Mods Gaming. So today man, yeah, we're gonna get right into it with a vehicle showcase. I happen to load it on my girl character here on barcode, so we're at the casino. We're gonna go ahead and start here. Uh, and keep in mind, I'm gonna link my uh, IG and Twitter. I'm not really on that much, but I'll link all that stuff down in the description. Uh, IG or PSN is probably the best way to get a hold of me. And uh, you guys can have any of these absolutely 100% free. Um, you know, via buy or sell. Uh, the current gift card of friends really sucks. So unless you want just one, I'm, I'm not gonna join in on you and sit there and, and wait for you to fail. Gift card of friends <laughs> glitch out meth like 10 times. I already have that perfected. They're already be, be glitched out. Would be great. Uh, but for the current gift card of friends, you're gonna have to keep getting, you know, glitched out for every car. I'm not. No offense, guys. I do have other things to do. I'm not gonna sit and wait for that. But uh, so back, probably best off right now until we get like a good MLC to MLC or like a permanent glitch out, like back in the Spanish Av days. Uh, probably best off to stick with regular cards. You can just buy at the card meet, right? So yeah, I know the lighting here sucks. Uh, quick disclaimer though, I, I'm not gonna lie, um, you know, everybody has a different preference, a different level, what they consider modded, okay? Now, I'm gonna say probably 95% of my vehicles, 90 to 95% are completely clean. Uh, but, now my version of clean might be different than yours, so let me, me personally, I don't give a shit if the underglow is selected, that's not, I don't consider that a scratch, I'm sorry. That's stupid. Uh, interiors. A lot of people are really big on interiors. I don't consider an interior color selected scratch. That's horseshit. Sorry. I'm old school, guys. I was doing this back in 2017 when I started, when most of you that are playing now didn't even know modded cars existed in GTA. No offense. Some of you obviously have played longer than me, and you are real OGs, and hey, I flicking salute you guys, man. Freaking salute you. So, uh, but you're not going to find any uh, primary, secondary, pearl, or wheel color selected on any of my cars, you're not going to find anything but a yanked in plate. Some might be like generic or whatever, because I bought them from other accounts and I haven't put my plate on it yet, but who gives a rip, you guys can do that yourselves. Uh, they're going to have Betty's or F1's on it, I'm sorry, I don't believe in the freaking street wheels thing. Uh, that Those are selected wheels, I don't care if you can put them, normally you can't put them on a, an Avenger or not or whatever, a plane. Yeah, I get it, but I'm sorry, they're, they're still... I don't know. I don't like the street wheels or the tuner wheels or any of that bulk garbage. So it's going to be Betty's or F1's to me, period. Um, you know, window tint is going to be clear or green. Uh, I might have a car or two still on my OG OG accounts that, uh, my, a couple might have black. Because, like, back in the early days, guys, we didn't care about window tint. Nowadays, obviously, that's, that's going to be a no-go. Uh, you're not going to find any window tints on my cars. Uh, if you do, or if I miss some for whatever reason, I'll definitely get rid of them. Uh, there, I'm not going to lie, there might be a couple, uh, here or there. Uh... But, you know, if, you know, and I got no problem checking shit or, you know, pull out the Avenger real quick is the best way, really. Because then you could just, you know, take the car away in the Avenger and find out instead of having to drive all the way to LSC. Uh, and make sure things completely 100% to your liking before I give it to you because I don't want to give anybody, you know, uh, what they would consider to be a scratch car. But I'm just saying, quick disclaimer, uh... You know, and don't get me wrong, guys. I would prefer a, guy, a car to be completely 100%, you know, nothing selected. But me, I don't give a rip about interiors. I don't give a rip about uh, underglow. But the, all the other aforementioned things, uh, 100%, are going to be. It's going to, and it's also going to have a Halloween, or an, preferably an Independence Day horn. But it's, I actually did uh, last year go through and clean two accounts. So my original OG, OG, OG is up account, and. My, I believe my mods account, uh, no, my second main account, that's, those are going to be all completely 100% uh, independent stay horns, uh, all of them, uh, and it was like a whole week long journey, it wasn't freaking fun whatsoever, uh, but we got it done, so, uh, yeah, anyway, let's go check out the AG here real quick, I got some freshly merged sets too, that are, you know, obviously they're all clean, I transferred some of my older cars to uh, this newer account here and did a lot of merging with older colors and some chameleons and stuff. Uh, I'm not real big into the, the Warren chameleon thing. I've never really been a big Warren fan, guys, so most of my cars you're going to see are, are 3D, whether it be PS4 colors or chameleons. Uh, yeah, this is a nice little uh, chameleon set I made here for the agency. And these are going to be uh, 
100% clean. I think these might have Halloween horns, though. Yeah, they do. And some people consider the Halloween horns scratched. I get it because, you know, you get to keep it year-round. But uh, this year, come July, I'll fix this whole account uh, and uh, my male and female and whatever else. But I, I don't. As long as it's Independence Day or Halloween horn, I'm good. Some of you guys, some some people in the community guys get real effing picky, and it's it's a little bit ridiculous. I mean, these cars are not real, guys. They're freaking literally pickles on your screen. They're not real. Uh, they just have a barrier to where you can't walk directly through them. But we all know sometimes you can get glitched out and like be inside the car, inside the car, like character stating inside the car. These cars are not freaking real. They're digital vehicles. You know, <laughs> get off of it, man. Okay, you should be freaking happy that you know. Some people are just giving out free vehicles, who, whoever it may be, you know, Arrested's definitely a, a dude I, I like to, uh, I've been kind of away for a minute, but I definitely would participate with him all day long, he's a good dude, does a lot of help in the community, runs a good channel, and there's a lot of others, but, uh, point is, is, yeah, <laughs> you need, you need to not be so picky about digital vehicles, guys, yeah, I'm sorry, it's, it's kind of ridiculous, but, anyway, man, yeah, it's a nice little, uh, chameleon set I made and this is gonna be I believe let's check real quick I know these are gonna have like this one you know, your unselectable liveries and all that stuff uh, but some people playing at certain times might have the liveries unlocked or GTA plus or whatever so like I said it's different for everybody guys but we'll just go down here for an example obviously it's got the the, the Halloween horn but this one's got Halloween 1. For some reason, I don't have Halloween 1. So I guess technically this is unselected for me, guys. So see, it's different for everybody, man. Uh, you know, some people... I don't know, man. It's just, I think some people get this a little bit too into it. But like, okay, right here. This this one's got an unselected. This whole set's got an unselected neon color. If, if it was selected, would I really give a shit? No, I wouldn't, because that's just not a scratch to me, like I said before. Uh, livery, obviously, is selected. Play, you know, Yankton. It's got some barcode paint on there. Uh, let's see. But, you know, primary and secondary and pearl and window and Yankton plate and wheels are definitely 100%. Uh, you know, no go territories for me. You know, and I go by the the OG rules, guys, for the most part. Like I said, would I, would I like everything to not be selected? Sure. But, okay, like here, the, the interior is selected. It's uh, black or whatever. I'm sorry, who gives a shit? Like, all the trouble you got to go through to make... Because you can't drop vehicles DMO with interiors. I don't believe anybody's figured that out yet. Um, other than, like, the strip cup cars. But then everything else, because, you know, the horns, I don't get scratched and, and you know, whatever else... Um, you know what I mean? So you still have to, uh, you still have to magic slot the, the interiors. You know what I mean? It's just a pain in the dick. And you know the, the sheer amounts of cars that we have, guys, as car collectors, like me. You know, I got literally thousands of cars between all my uh, six, seven accounts. A couple thousand cars when you put them all together. I think each character can hold what, like, I don't know, 300, not including GTA Plus, 400 with GTA Plus, 500 actually, because you get the fighting with garage and both characters uh yeah man literally thousands of cars i have and, and uh, i'm not i'm sorry i'm not gonna magic slot them all it's not gonna happen it would take me five years uh gta is a 10 year old game it's not that serious anymore guys and this uh this upcoming july when i i can put the independence day on horn on every single vehicle i have which is gonna take me a year and a half <laughs> it's gonna take me all week long uh to do it this time my male and female character here just every single vehicle slot is filled, so I think it's like what 385 vehicles. So you're talking 800 vehicles almost. That's gonna take me all freaking week, guys. But I'm gonna do it just so you know. I don't want to hear the Halloween horn thing from people. Don't want to hear it. But yeah. Anyway, moving on. This nice set. I just kind of want. I say these things, guys, because I wanted to clear about it. I don't want to hear people bitching about it later. Or, you didn't. You didn't specify mods or blah 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 blah. I don't want to hear it. Dude. So, so, so the channel's more about helping people, just teaching information, you know, giving cars, whatever the hell. And I, I don't need to do some more car giving videos. Help us subs grind. The grinding videos are, grind videos are never going to be as you know popular as the uh, 
you know, the, the giving away shit. Because let's face it, that's what most people want. Is they just want you to give them shit. Let's, you know, <laughs> let's be real here, right? So okay, this is from my uh, this is PS4 colors here. This is from my blue tartan set uh, that I dropped DMO years ago. On uh, I think I dropped this originally on my Clapping Cheeks account. Yeah, nice little. Uh, of course, this, these are going to require you know MLC MLC to MLC. You know these won't go in the facility or any of that. So until that becomes public, uh, you know, uh, yeah, you're not going to get close right now. That damn facility will only take certain things, man. Regular cars, and it'll actually take facility vehicles. Those will go in there if you don't already have them. Uh, okay, yeah, this is, these are just the yeah, ones I put in here. I could probably get rid of those because I'm not going to change the set. The Hellcat there. Got the Obey 10F. Wide body on F1s. Got some AA trailers I dropped years ago. The pink and green camel set. Uh, rocks, big Rockstar set. Nova set. I don't think. I don't think I made this one though. Nice little clean terabyte there on uh, hypnotics. PS4 colors. I still enjoy the PS4 colors, guys. And you know the thing about PS4 colors, these will always be safe. You know your DMO colors, your, your secret golds, and your your crew colors on top of you know brush metals and things like that. Like this is, those will always be safe. Those are never gonna be selected. This right here, you know, although it looks pretty, it's a nice chameleon color. I don't know what the hell one it is, but if they ever decide to release these, and it's going to start with GTA Plus, right? Let's be, best be believed these are all going to be released on GTA Plus at some point. Will they ever be fully released to, to everybody? I don't know, but the, the day they are, man, there's going to be a lot of pissed off people because there's going to be a lot of scratch vehicles, guys. So don't uh, let your PS4 colors, you know, don't brush them to the side, man. Those are always going to be uh, a okay in my book. It might not be quite as flashy or as pretty as the freaking chameleons, but they're also safe. You know what I mean? Because these are all different. It's, it's a set, but it's not a matching set. These are all different PS4 colors. Well, not this thing. I don't know how this got in here, but these are from the uh, the Tuners DLC. All the Tuners cars, all modded liveries. Uh, I think this is, I don't know why, this this isn't a tuner's car, this is a the Conjo, but mod livery, you know, we got the Samurai livery on there. This is a set I, I did Magic Slot, I believe these are all unselected interiors, and then I got one, another set somewhere on F1s, I think on my guy character, that got all 100% clean in, in interiors, for your really hard set on that. And I believe, yeah, because I got these from my other account to give this account. So these are all going to have the, uh, yeah, the Independence Day horn and clean everything, right? Clean interiors, all that good stuff. You know, pay no attention to the, the Squatty or the, the Tulip or the M100 or the Conjo. Those aren't part of the set, but uh, I think the rest of them are going to be in Garage 4 here. Okay, so this is the rest of the set. And just mod deliveries and interiors. A lot of cars in this set. I think it's like 17 or 18, something like that. Quite a few cars in that set, so. All PS4 colors. Uh, a lot of my uh, cars that I have on all my characters are on my IG. You know, I got them in reels and stuff. And some of them, you know, because it goes by quick, it's going to be hard to see. That's why I'll probably end up making videos going through all of them. So you guys can look at my channel here and then see them all kind of like up close and personal, live in game, right? You know what I mean? That way you can kind of decide if and what you want, if anything. Yeah, I got some money. It's just, it's just absolutely retarded. It really is. We got trucks. We got freaking Benny's cars. We got Jeeps, too. We got it all.
See what we got, see what kind of goodies we got in here. I mean, let's face it, guys. At this, at this point, if you've been in the modded car community for at least a couple years or whatever, right? You've, you've seen it all at this point, right? Uh, this is a set I recently made here. This one should be all 100% clean as well. Okay, yeah, it's got the Halloween horn, though, but... Like I said, we'll fix that come July. I still, I'm okay with the Halloween horn, personally, guys. Some guys are not, but I'm okay with it. Nice little two-tone chameleon, little mix between chameleon and uh, PS4 color there. Uh, you know, all clean, 100% for sure. All clean. I even got that. I don't know if these are... So I tried the 255 this one. I didn't get the... Uh, the curtains are there, but they almost look like double curtains. It looks like there's one... They're the open and closed ones, because when I, I did another one, and it doesn't have the little, like... Uh, these little things right here. Let me see if I can't get my character to point to them exactly. Like how you got like the regular blind here, then you got the little uh, drapes, whatever you call those, two in one. I don't know if normally it comes like that. I'll have to buy a stock one, I guess, and see. Uh, I could always remerge that one though. I maybe I messed up or whatever. I don't know. I'd prefer to have the zeroed out one, but you know, whatever, right? You know. It's definitely a working merge now. You guys can check that out on my channel. Oh, by the way, this is all uh, Engine 5 set. Uh, the only one that's missing that, there might be more by now with the new DLC. Um, I haven't really investigated that, but uh, the Manchester Scout C, the uh, Brickade Delivery Bike, also could take Engine 5. Um, like I said, there might be more, but those are the 11 that I know about. But that one's gonna require, obviously, uh, MLC to MLC. You can't do that one with facility. We tried, and no. <laughs> Definitely a no go, man. Nope. Let's see, what do we have in here? Just random vehicles. Some PS4 colors, some chameleons. Nothing too fancy. Everybody has their taste, though. What they, what they like, right? And that's what's... What's just great about the community is you get to see, like... You know, other people's works, other people's different, you know... Take on things. Their sets and things like that. It's, it's good stuff, man. It's good stuff. I don't ever knock anybody, you know. If they like what they like, that's totally cool. I don't have to like it, too, but... Hey... It's, it's all love, man. There's some chameleons here, looks like. Oh, there's PS4 colors right there. Chameleons. Okay, so this is, uh, obviously these have selected wheels. This is a racing set. Uh, I don't know, I don't think they're all chameleon. No, like the Jeep's not chameleon. But these are all the, uh, the best vehicles in class for racing and whatnot. I'm not really much of a racer. I never was. I made this when I was with, uh, my old crew leader there. But, uh, yeah, and if you're racing, uh, believe it or not, off-road tires are actually the best gripping tire, the best racing tire there is. Even on the F1 cars, because uh, they don't degrade like the, the normal F1 wheels do. So you can kind of, I guess some would call that cheating, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. You got to do what you got to do to win, right? For that serious about Nobody freaking joins a race to try to lose. Uh, not really, unless you're a troll. You're just like driving backwards. Like I'm glad they finally fixed that, though. People that want to drive backwards and be all stupid in races, they put them in passive automatically. That's kind of cool that Rockstar did that. I know the racers really, uh, the true diehard racers really appreciate that. So, big ups to them. With the freaking Clark W. Griswold over there, man. Gotta love it. Clark W. Let's freaking go. <laughs> Got the bug starts, man. 
America on top. Nice freaking sick chameleon on there. It's a PS4 color. The new freaking boar chameleon. I believe I dropped that one DMO actually. I believe I did. Yeah, I just bought it from my other account though. That's why it's got the generic plate on there. This one was actually featured in one of my videos, I believe. I put that on the uh, MR Cruiser. Uh, chameleon. Alright, so let us go down to what would be next? I think the arcade. On their way to Eclipse. I like the arcade DLC though. It was a pretty good one. Definitely one of Rockstar's better ones. The Casino Heist, people still play that. I, I don't, it's not my favorite since Kyle came out. Obviously, Kyle is far superior to the Casino Heist, but. It was a good heist for a while, man. It really was. All right, let's get some PS4 colors here. More PS4 colors. Oh, that's definitely Chameleon. Dubsta. I don't think that's that the rare one. I don't think so. It might be. He's got the thing on the tire on the back. Let's see. If it's, got, if it's got the option to put the tire on the hood, then it's definitely the rare one. Because the normal one doesn't have that. There's another 900R with a secret livery on it. Chameleon, or, or some wait a minute. Is it 800R? 300R. 300R. Oh, Shitaro, got the freaking lifeguard blazer with the buoy and the lifeguard box on F1. It's good stuff. Got the secret livery. A lot of people don't know. The, the Hermes has got a secret livery there. That is the secret livery. The decadence. Uh, got the Banshee here with a. I guess a hidden livery. Yeah, it is. Fagaloa. <laughs> Some of the names for these cards, man. Rockstar really likes to like to push the envelope. Okay, so what do we got? That, Kanzo. I got a few of those. Some nice PS4 colors there. Duke of Death, I believe that's uh, Kiflam. Looks like Kiflam Blue. Looks like it. Kiflam blue wheels. It's hard to tell the baby blue from Kiflam blue. They're, li they're literally like the exact same color, except obviously Kiflam's unselected, but they're literally like the exact same color. Kiflam blue might be like a shade or two brighter, but not much. It's pretty. Do I have the same exact? Is it the BRA from the other garage? No, I think it's, I think it's a different chameleon. Sometimes we'll have a. Uh, Duplicate cars, you know, and there's always cars that slip through the cracks, right? You know, that's Some of us do have lives outside of video games, so we don't have like weeks on end to just roll through our cars and make sure they're all nice and perfect Some of us have bills to pay And uh, playing video games are not probably ever gonna pay those bills, so This is our leisure activity but yeah, got some more PS4 colors here. Nice squatty there and decadence. Love my decadence guys. You'll see those wheels a lot. Decadence. You know, I'm I'm, I'm a big F1 guy too in certain cars. Some cars that look kind of funny here, like the supercars. But I don't know, that doesn't look too bad in Turismo. They stick out a little bit. But look on the muscle cars, man. The, the F1s are the way to go. I'm sorry, those those look like they belong there. Like on on here on the. Uh, the Camacho, the Dub stuff, the, the F1 just look better, man. But like for supercars and stuff, I think the Bennies look better, you know. But it just depends, you know. But I like my Decadence, I like my Spindles, Psychedelics, Hypnotics, you know. We all have our preferences. Decadence, like I said. So Decadence is definitely my. If I had to choose a favorite, I would say Deckard is probably my favorite bespoke wheel. And probably Spindles for their Betty's Originals. Definitely. And then, you know, whatever for the F1s. Uh, Mr. Raspberry Jam. This is from the Suck Me Dry collection. <laughs> Yeah, these ones all had it on there, but I bought them from my original account. The original account's got all of them with the, the suck me dry plate on it. <laughs> I dropped, dropped these all from DMO on the PS4. 
Oh my god, man. I tell you what, that's half the fun of making the damn cars, guys, the plates. That's really what it comes down to. Because at some point, you know, you've seen all the colors. And you've probably seen all the plates, too. But every once in a while, a new one pops up. <laughs> it just makes you laugh. You know, some of the... We're only allowed eight characters, right? So we got to get really creative with shit. And some of the plates that some people come up with, they're like... Oh my god. Good stuff. Good stuff. And a lot of times I'll just default to buy mods just so people know that I made it, but whatever, right? Whatever. So nice. Uh, I need to finish making the orange shade camo collection here. I got it on PS4 and I got a, a chameleon, unselected chameleon version. I got actually the whole set of this, uh, including the AA trailer on... God, I can't remember what count that's on. I think it's in my old Clapping Cheeks account, maybe. It might be, yeah. And I got the donor, the Revolta. I just haven't merged the whole set yet. Well, I don't have room on this char these characters in Barcode, but um, I'm going to make the Chameleon set. I really like the Orange Shade camo. It's one of my favorite unselected livery sets. Definitely. This actually right here, guys, this neon, which may not seem like nothing special to you on spindles with a brush metal under finish. This is the RPGs. Shout out to RPG, man. Hey, RPG, you're freaking fat, dude. <laughs> All right. My little buddy there from long ago. But this was actually uh, one of the first DMO. I don't think I don't, it was the very first one, but it was in the very first set that I dropped DMO way back in like, man, the beginning parts of 2019, guys. Right when DMO was really starting to kind of get released to the community and starting getting getting hot it was out i think before then but uh it really started getting popular around like 2019 2020 people started really going after and then when they finally patched it up for good a few months went by you know and then they finally released the dmo light version which uh believe me was nowhere near as good as the original dmo if you guys were around for the original dmo in like 2018 2019 maybe even the early parts of 2020 I think it got patched in one of the earlier DLCs, 2020. I want to say March, April. The little DLC Rockstar does there in the beginning of the year. That's usually not very big. I think it got patched in that. Um, then, actually, no. I think it was like a month or so went by. It was dry for a minute, and then they, they did like a workaround. You couldn't have the full menu online, but you could still drop 21 cars. That went on for about the most of 2020, and then I think in 2021 late 2020 early 2021 they they uh they put an end to that for good and then like i don't know six months later the dmo light came out or something like something like that right that's that might not be the exact timeline but uh yeah it's got a stock yosemite here this is because i gotta put this in my other garage i use the yosemites for go between between liveries uh and interiors if i'm doing interiors because they hold interiors very well obviously the, the seats there the whole inside of that's will show the interior color and it's uh, a Benny's car, so you can use it as a good donor. And it goes up to, like, unless you're going to do liveries higher than 19, like your, you know, like your knuckle duster, your your bully, your skulls, then you're going to need a vagrant for those, right? But just for doing the liveries on a lot of this, the regular vehicles, the Yosemite will work just fine. Yeah, so there's a few I dropped here, DMO. I remember I had this one long before the livery. I had this for like a good year and a half or maybe even more before they finally release this liver here into the game uh, this was unselected for a long freaking time so and the ori the original car to do uh the re delivery sets before the vagrant came out with the i think it was the diamond casino ice dlc i think the vagrant came out then i have to look on the website but yeah it's a warning guys it's gonna be a longer video because i got a lot of cars to go through but PS4 colors in there, a little two-tone chameleon action there. Speaking of the Vagrant, nice chameleon Vagrant we got there for merging that color with liveries and stuff like that. Nice color. Uh, my four accounts, but each account has both characters full, so it's 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 a lot, guys. It is. Other people out there that have more than me, even absolutely freaking lutely. I just, I can only go so hard into painting with it for so long, guys. I have a life, you know what I mean? I like the company of women, and, you know, women aren't going to sit there 
you guys think that women are just gonna, you know, fall on your lap while you're playing video games all day, guys, if you want a woman in your life, just for you men out there, uh, good luck with that, homie, because it, it's not gonna happen, usually. Here is, uh, chameleon version of the Revolter. Very nice as well. Horn shake camo set there. In case you gotta duck in real quick, man, you got your freaking Avenger on your ass in free mode or something, you gotta duck in real quick. It's good to have garages spread out, right? It is. Oh, these are some DMO La Caruses I uh, dropped before, actually before they even got released. Uh, same with this one here, the Hot Run Hellfire. It's Chameleon there. Ghostbuster car. Now this is one of the rare exceptions, guys. Just because of what it is, even got the coffin in the back. Does this have the Stay Puff plate on it? No. Oh. My one does, I think on mods, has the Stay Puff. That's the vehicle. I messed mean, the account I dropped it on. But this is the one, anyway. This is the one, the one rare occasion where we had to keep the stock horn. And I think you know why. It just doesn't seem right to put anything but the actual freaking horn that belongs on the Ghostbuster car on there. I'm sorry. Is that horn technically scratched? Yes. Live with it. I don't care. If you want to get it from me and then put the Halloween or whatever on there, go for it. But mine's going to stay with that. Sorry. Not sorry. Got the freaking Tony Montana car here with the uh, hidden livery, the Oenus livery. Nice sick ass chameleon Jaguar here, aka, uh, or not uh, Jaguar, uh, this is actually the original Bugatti. There is a, there's a Jaguar, an old, I think, 39 or 38 or maybe 40 or 41 Jaguar. It looks a lot like this. But this being a Trufad, this is actually, uh, that would be Bugatti. Uh, and I didn't realize Bugatti actually went back, like, way back. I thought it was, like, within the last 20, 30 years. But no, Bugatti's been actually around for a long time. I'm not going to lie and say I know exactly when the company was founded. I don't, but they've been around a long time, believe it or not. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, oh. I almost forgot, guys. This is, there's another garage here. I don't know what I'm doing. I was thinking about the Bugatti. Got distracted. Wouldn't it be, wouldn't it be fun to drive one of those, man? An actual freaking Bugatti in real life? Holy Christ. Yeah, those those cars are nuts. Got some PS4 colors here. The Speedo van. I got one of my guy characters too. I merged. I haven't unlocked it on my girl character yet, so I can buy it. Uh, I need to do the career progress on her. Got the Lamar vans. I was really happy when they both got unblacklisted. Super pissed off when they first got blacklisted. Dropped those both DMO personally. The new DMO, which is not anywhere near as awesome as the old one. Yeah, patching the, the first two, I guess I'll call them, original DMOs, really killed it. A lot of it for me, guys. I started getting back into outfits for a while after that, doing a lot of bath, and then, uh... Then I started, uh... Actually started getting back into grinding for a while. Here's another, uh... Got the Love Fist version, which I believe this one's still unselected. The other one, if you did the event, it's um, selected. But... Had to have the horn still, though. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Sorry, not sorry. This is actually part of the uh, set I did on uh, an F1s. It's on my OG account. That's, that's completely... Uh, Everything unselected. Interior. Horn. The whole nine. It's got a generic plate, but we can change that. So we actually I dropped this crew because for a while, guys, if you remember, it's a couple years ago, I think now, but uh this was like the new armor crew because of the freaking the, the the windows until they fixed it. It went on for like a good four or five months, I think. Uh back in maybe 20, 20 2021, somewhere around there. But anyway, yeah, the, the original crew there was like completely it was like completely freaking bulletproof. <laughs> um, this is the pink and green camo, yeah. I'm actually thinking, because I have this on my one of my OG accounts, so I recently dropped this DMO. I'm thinking about overwriting this with the, the chameleon um, orange shade camo set, is what I'm thinking. 
because I already got it, my OG account, and I was going to sell that one, but I've decided I'm not, because I'm not going to get what I want for it, all the time and effort I put into it, but it's, it was an OG, OG account that I built, so it doesn't have the fast run, and you know, billions of dollars, and the crazy stupid KD, and all that stuff, got some really badass Beth outfits that I made, but, uh, and you know, four, five, six hundred million dollars, but that's not like having, you know, 6.7 billion, what do I got now, I'm down to 5.9 billion now. 7.8 I've spent a lot of money but still anyway yeah still nice uh, PS4 color set here drop this personally drop this back in like oh, this is yeah this is back in the 2019 days man I've had this had this set long before any of these liveries got released obviously with GTA plus and all that a lot of the stuff a lot of these sets are scratched now at least a couple vehicles are scratched but yeah, I don't have the the Chernabog and the the RCV and the Kanjali version of this. I have it on my other account, but I was transferring to this one, and uh, obviously, you know, the MLC, the MLC got patched up for good, or at least the, the public method got patched. And I don't have all freaking day to be sitting there trying to find glitches. That's cool, guys. That do hats off to you guys. Appreciate you guys putting in the work and all that stuff. But I just don't have time, guys. You know, I have a real life. I'm trying to study to be a web developer in real life, you know, going after that real life money. So, you know, GTA has to take a, uh, a backseat to that, unfortunately. I wish I could get paid 150 grand a year to play GTA. Let's freaking go. <laughs> I'm all over that if that's the case, but I don't know anybody that's going to pay me that kind of money to play this game. So, having said that, uh, moving on. Yeah, this is the Blue Tartan uh, PS4 set. Dropped this. Not too long after the uh, pink and green camo set there, I believe. These cards are just whatever. Some PS4 colors. But one of my uh, one of my more favorite sets. I don't know what I really like the blue tartan. Uh, the colors for this really came out nice uh, on the F1s and all that. Definitely a, definitely a nice set. Got the, the secret gold underneath there. I think it's got a Kiflon blue pearl. I think. I'm not sure. Looks... It's definitely blue pearl, but I'm not gonna lie and say I know exactly what it is. It could be a police blue, it could be a lot of things. I really like my blues, guys. I like my blues. I like my blues. And she's got the facility set, so this character, she does have the facility version vehicles of this. She just doesn't have the Avenger. I seen a new, I think there's a car to Avenger merge out there. I might showcase that. It takes. I got a vagrant of this, or I could use a revolt or whatever. That will that will transfer over to the actually, yeah, because the Avengers is a set one vehicle, so I'd have to use the revolt because that's gonna match up. The numbers are gonna match up. The vagrant won't match up because that's a that's a set two vehicle actually. That would put like a galaxy or candy cane or whatever. It put one of the Christmas liveries on the, the Avenger because the the numbers are different. It's all about numbers, guys. Life is freaking numbers. If you don't know that right now, you're going to learn. Life is numbers. That's all the F it is. L numbers and paperwork, guys. Trust me. <laughs> Whether you like it or not, man. Life is freaking numbers. So, get that figured out and get it figured out now. Because it's definitely not going to change. All right, we got this whole oh, this candy cane set, I think. Yeah, because that's the uh, Presser Mark One. Got the candy cane, PS4 color. Dropped that way back in the day as well, too. I mean, that dropped like that. I mean, that pink and green camo and the blue tire, and that's that was the original DMO days, guys. Talking early 2019 days when I started getting into the DMO. Um, when I first learned about it. it, might even been the end of 2018 when I first started doing it, but I started getting good at it. And, uh, you know, the very beginning part is 2019. The original DMO was kind of a bitch to hit at first until you found your sweet spot with it. Because that's when I first started using net cut. You had to use net cut with that. I was brand new to net cut. And but once you got your method down and you figured it out, it was good to go. And it was funny because the game save that we used, it was always the part where Franklin was going after the contractor in story mode there. As you go to the clouds, you'd hear Michael still talking on the phone. You would tell, uh, hear Michael tell Franklin every single time he went to hit DMO, he would say, don't fuck it up. Obviously, he was talking about, you know, the mission, but uh, we always joked in the community about, you know, because 
it was that was the part in the of the, the glitching for DMO where you had to you know, your timing when that cut you, you know that's where I guess you could technically quote unquote fuck it up so we always found that I always found that uh, to be just kind of I don't know just a cool little thing whatever you want to call it uh, the male Michael telling you don't fuck it up you know and who better to tell you than Michael right Ned Luke let's freaking go it's great to see him streaming now too man I've been watching his uh his antics on GTA Online my god but yeah, there's just too much going on in this game too many people that glitch and all this stuff you know to try to be hiding stuff when you should just be all working together and enjoying it you know what I mean like who gives a rip at this point guys GTA's freaking gonna be 11 years old this year so let's let's work together man the lifeguard there yeah with the buoy and the no, I've never, I've never seen anybody. I think there was a way to have this so where you could have it with just the box on the back and not the buoy, or, or, or that, you know, vice versa. That would make it more rare. Obviously, when you merge it, normally it zeroes it out and doesn't have anything on there, so you gotta use the panto. But uh, yeah, I don't know if I've seen one that has just one or the other. I've seen it where it has both of them, and I've seen it where it has none of them. But let's see, what we got in here. I think she's got an arena set. Not for sure. I think maybe the bigger vehicles I might need to. Uh, I can't merge them right now, but I can't save them because you got to do gift card to friends, and it's got to be the, these cars, the marina cars won't go. The big ones, like the Cerberus and shit, won't go in the facility. Uh, the little ones will, but like your Cerberus, your uh, uh, the, the rat truck, the monster truck there, and then the other one, the big six wheeler one. Now those will not go in the facility, 100%. That is a fact. I would love to see somebody get those in there. Would love to see that. Just some rando cars in here. Now back in the days before they patched up good, man, we were putting freaking Titans. I remember I had, like, I had a Kula in my... F and uh, like a couple other planes. A, a B-11 in my <laughs> facility, which... You actually could see them too. They'd be, you know, flipping out and shit. But I'm pretty sure they patched that up for good. I got three freaking lifeguards in this character. My God. Yeah, this car right here. This one turns into the whatever the hell that name is. I can't remember this right here. These are not going in the facility, guys. Good luck with that. So those three still need to be merged and saved. But we need to we need to give everything to friends for that. Some rando cars. I believe the other nine or ten I think it's what twelve arena vehicles I think the other ten are gonna be in here I don't know if the Cerberus is matching or not I don't think it is yeah yeah I got this nice chameleon nice chameleon uh, Nova set here I took all the stuff off this one because I was going to use it to merge because this will you can take this inside the car meet and merge with if you take all the stuff off of the blades the, the proximity mines the armor all that still got the little spikes on it there but it, that'll go inside the whatchamacallit uh, you can use a you can do a sprint race with that yeah because I need to merge the obviously you can see the Cerberus here is on F1 it's a different color so that one and then the other two big vehicles need to be merged still so that's a work in progress. Really nice color though. I like the way the rest of the set turned out. It's a real nice chameleon. Yeah, these all got Halloween. I mean, uh, yeah, they got the got the unselected horn there, the Independence Day horn. So that's cool. That company's worth billions. Even six million is literally jack shit to take two guys. That is jack shit to them crazy as it sounds that is jack shit yeah i thought about doing another set too instead of the orange shade camo because i don't think i have a, a monogram set i got the multicolor liveries ps4 color set i might do because this this has actually turned out real nice on the suppressor mark one here uh, i think i used uh i don't know what the hell i used for that but um Anyway, yeah, I'm thinking about making a set with that. Cause that looks really nice. The skull set come out really nice too here, but I already got a skull set on uh, boy character here on, on uh, the barcode account here. So I'll definitely showcase that to you guys in the next car showcase video. 
Good deal, Stromberg. You're sad, man. We freaking man, I killed a lot of Deluxo Griefers and Mark One Griefers with this thing, dude. This thing was absolute top dog, but obviously the the Toreador down there just absolutely blows it out of the water. They should have just made it so we can upgrade the Stromberg and put the boost on it, right? Like, that's basically that's all the Toreador is. It's just the Stromberg with boost in, in the water and outside the water. That's all it is. And in, in, in unlimited missiles. You know, I still I still don't agree with unlimited missiles. I mean. You know, I've, I've messed up a lot with the Toreador before, man. I really have, you know. I'm not a griefer, but I have a couple times, I'm not going to lie. And that thing is pretty, I mean, you can take Mark II's down unless they're really... Before they patched the Mark II, where, you know, you couldn't pop the chaff as much. Before, when they had the unlimited chaff, the Mark II was a bitch to deal with. If somebody knew what the hell did they do, because the Mark II had a lot longer lock-on range, you know what I'm saying? And if they knew how to use that chaff right, they, they, they'd mess the Toreador up. But now... Uh, that Toreador is just an absolute Mark II killer, man. Uh, it really is. We got a couple, you know, unselectable livery Mark IIs here, by the way. Just, just know we're talking about that. I really like this uh, chameleon yellow and blue camel one. But don't 100% quote me on that. I'll have to go through it and look. I'll go down my list there and see. My so chameleon scramjet there. You can't see it as well, but there's chameleon Toreadors with the... Uh, Unless you're playing or at whatever at a certain time, the GTA Plus member at a certain time, this livery is going to be unselected for everybody. Even me, I got GTA Plus, but I got it way after the fact, so the livery is still 100% modded for me. Deluxo, Chameleon Batmobile, PS4 Red Batmobile, Black Oil Slick Deluxo. Got the unselected interiors there too, really like this one with that, that blue. That blue is really sick. That's a DMO scramjet I dropped years ago. That's a little worn there. One of the few worns that I actually like. So yeah, that's kind of like the weaponized vehicle set garage here. I still gotta get things more organized. And God bless Rockstar for finally doing the you know the menu thing. Now you just gotta go to your garage and figure out what you want, where, write it down, and then just move it with the menu, right? No more freaking driving vehicles across the map or whatever the hell 50 million times uh, that was horrible I still gotta go through and uh, organize my garages a little bit more but so these are all the newer vehicles here in this garage oh, I got my Bennies and F1s these are mostly gonna be uh, all you know unselected everything some might have interiors, some might have, you know, uh, underglow selected, but 99.9% .9 of them, I'm like, yeah, it's got the Halloween horn. Whatever. I'm not worried about the Halloween horn. You guys might be. I'm not worried about the Halloween horn at all. Got some nice Stanier cruisers. In case you guys didn't know, this is actually Stanier here. You can actually, if you merge this correctly, can uh, take the ability normally you have to have at least one livery on the cop car you can't have none so that's cool I almost wonder if that would you could turn that into a magic livery vehicle I don't know I have to investigate that because normally this has usually the magic livery vehicles guys if you don't know about that you start off with the Windsor Normally the Windsor, uh, Enos Windsor drop, I think it is, you have to have a livery on it. I think it's got like 10 liveries on it. They're unique just to that car, just like the police liveries are for this car. And if you uh, merge it correctly, you use, I think I use like a PR4 or a DR1, you beth it. And then it comes back with, uh, comes back with no livery. Other people will see the livery on it, and then you can do your little, uh, remote control thing and switch to the liveries, and they'll see it. You won't, but... They'll see you, they'll see the livery switching or whatever. So I always wonder if you can do that with a cop car here too. I'm gonna have to investigate that. That's that's kind of cool. But yeah, we got the Apollo there. We got the uh, a GZ Astro GZ. Got the freaking Camaro. Let's go. Magyal FR36. Mustang, Sally. Very nice. These are all chameleons. 
two-tone command. There's the unmarked cruiser. I did one of my videos. Very nice. So yeah, we got all the new vehicles, guys, on Benny's or F1s. All right, what we got here? Uh, some more of the new cars. Yeah, we got the uh, interceptor there. I really like the way that one turned out. That one's sick. I love that chameleon color. They also have me rancher, like I said earlier, just for uh, go between purposes. So don't mind those stock vehicles there, but they have a purpose. Terminus. Got the Forest Ranger car finally. Another interceptor, another Terminus there. Yeah, these are just my go betweens for liveries or whatever, or to swap between Bennies and F1s, whatever, you know, interiors. Not that I really huge interior guy but a couple more interceptors there let's see what else we got here nice chameleon there and a PS4 Stinger GTT. It's more of a PS4 DMO colors. There's the vagrants just for you know different colors for different livery sets and things like that. So it's good to have a few extra vagrants around. I got like five or six of them. Some more ranchers, yeah, these are just go betweens. Just to go between vehicle. I got a few more. I got multiple ones just to have different colors, right? So I don't have to keep Remerging over top, and yeah, I see a color I like that might go well in the vehicle. I could just grab that sound bitch and go right. And this is to turn bennies into F1 vehicles, right? F1 wheels, you know, the Yosemite is the opposite to that. You can turn F1 into bennies vehicle, bennies wheels. The other thing that sucks is these don't have the these only go up to like 10 or 11 in the liveries, so oftentimes you have to double merge when you're doing a. If you want to do a color and livery set with F1s, you know, you got to merge your donor onto that. It's got the Benny wheels, switch them to F1s, and then to merge that onto a, a rancher or a vagrant, depending on what livery set you're doing. So, a lot of times I like my livery sets, so a lot of times you got to double merge. Which is, you know, let's be honest, not the funnest thing in the world. The result's nice, though, right? That's why we do it. Result is nice. We got there, oh, look at Hermes. The Pagio, I just don't think you can buy that. Got the Panto there. That's why I used to do that, uh, that journey too. In my, you guys seen the beginning of the video there, my, uh, Million engine five set and frick it. I guess I did it wrong. I don't know. Some more chameleons. Got the hearse, of course, with the flowers and the casket in the back. Nice little, uh, I think it's a worn chameleon, it looks like it. Mesa there. It's another one of my OG uh, PS4 DMO droppings set days there this one too very nice this is the one actually I showcase I did that um, I don't know, a week or so ago now that kill the bird method BS that people were trying to put it out that does not work it's not for me and I showed it live and in color on the video well yeah my Reno 2000 at the dead spot unfortunately uh, whoever had this account before me the guy did not receive that correctly and uh, that is now under the map somewhere. And there's a way to get it, but it involves like destroying all your vehicles. And I'm sorry, it's just not that important for me to go through. It'd take five hours to pull out every vehicle and destroy it. Yeah, no thanks. Yeah, no thanks. 
Uh, and the premise of that is, right, uh, not including the vehicle, because some vehicles, like the special vehicles, warehouse vehicles, so you don't have to destroy them, because they're just going to go back to here anyway, right? They don't go to Mars Mutual. But you have to pull out all your regular vehicles. Obviously, planes don't count, but... Um, and, like, service vehicles, like the MLC and, and the Avenger. Other than those, you have to pull out all your regular vehicles and destroy them all. That way, um, when you do the glitch there and go to the, the Lester Heist or whatever, uh, when you're doing the vehicle selection... Uh, the vehicle that's the dead spot, which is usually an LG or whatever you glitched out with to get that vehicle uh, Will be selectable and then at that time all you do is take it just quit the mission, right? Uh, quit the mission uh, Then just take the car and go sell it get rid of it that open that frees up the spot Then you could just uh, you know for me. I could just go to the website then and, and buy a stock ruiner and then when the MLC to MLC comes out, obviously, here we'll head, we'll head to the facility now. Whenever there's a working MLC to MLC and working freaking merge, the same, a decent merge, you know, at the same time, guys, I am about about it, man. I'm on GTA 24-7 when I'm not freaking working or doing real life shit, you know. 100%. Yeah, I gotta check out the damn... I gotta check out the damn uh, card Avenger thing because my Avenger's not matched. I wanted a blue Tartan Avenger. Uh, and a jetpack is just chameleon skulls, so. It doesn't match either, so yeah, the, the jetpack and the Avenger need to be uh, taken care of. This is just the other part of the blue Tartan set, which really looks good on these vehicles, too. Yeah, these, these are just for, obviously, just for facility gift card of friends. If I decide to do that, which. Current glitch out method, I'll be honest, is kind of pain in the dick, guys, so I'm not really messing with it. Uh, the off the radar for Terabyte and the CEO warehouse is absolutely disgustingly horrible. I think you have to be in a public lobby to hit it, because I cannot hit it on in an invite only to save my life. Good luck with that. I'm not trading cars in the public. That's going to be a big fat red X. Nope. I suppose maybe you could glitch out the lobby after that. I probably could do that. That's probably what you'd have to do. Hit the glitch in a public lobby, right? And then, you know, MTU yourself and do a, a solo pub. But then you, you can still have people join, though, guys. Uh, I've had people join, you know, 750, 800 MTU, real low MTU lobbies. And it can happen. I've seen it happen, and then... They come over and blow you up, and it turns into a war, and that's, I've seen it happen. Uh, businesses. Like, there's not one There's not one at the 50-car garage that's real close by. You gotta run down the street there. There's not one at a couple other garages. Uh, there's not one here by the hangar. You know, so... I'm not sure why there's a missing vehicle right here. What the hell? destroyed and it didn't call more speech show what's going on here you have all the vehicles on the floor man what the hell morse mutual we're here to help oh yeah all I the think we can you, do yeah. that. okay all right so i don't know how that got destroyed a nice ps4 color there blue hydra sick ass red b11 love my b11 Definitely my favorite plane. Play with Jets dogfight in. Pretty good in that. Laser sucks now. It's been nerfed. Rip to the laser. Got a nice uh, matching big rock star livery here. And I got this whole set too on one of my other OG characters. The mall, matching mall talk there. The Starling over here. Tash technically is the best dog fighting vehicle, but man, look, good luck learning how to use this thing correctly. Holy shit. Not the hardest thing in the world, but not easy either. Definitely a learning curve to that. There's Pyro over here. Rogue. The matching blue tart Nakula, of course. Got to have that. There's Chameleon. Uh, unselected Chameleon Riser here and Spindles. Very nice. Let's see what else we got in here. A few more planes. Alright, let's check these out real quick. Let's see what we got. I got a couple more left on there. 
with this big sound bitch nice uh, ps4 color there on what is that on those big dogs I can't hardly freaking tell guys what are those wheels got the damn wheel guard on him honestly I can't tell let me go to first person here those are it's got the gold so it's definitely a Benny wheel it's got the writing those mighty stars maybe They're definitely not big dogs this might be mighty stars I don't know that nice Tula there I mean not Tula but uh, Titan excuse me big slow sun but it's just a target in the sky right fly that and friends I'll win my guys all right you're just gonna get a shot right out of the sky Tula kind of a cool unique plane but also a target in the sky so that is oh I got the coin of cooler that's nice nice little ps4 coin of cooler I think I dropped that a long time ago got the bully livery uh, Molotov there in ones looking good Classic black, Nakoda, on Biles there, very nice. Nimbus on F1s, nice little Learjet there. Of course, we had to have the ultralight. The plane with the duster. I remember when this thing was super rare, guys. When I, when I dropped this DMO years ago, man. I, Almost nobody had one of those. And I was in the communities, I was on Facebook, I was everywhere, and nobody freaking had one. Those are super rare. For whatever reason, right? It's just a shitty ass, you know, biplane, crop duster plane, but probably because it's a shitty plane, not people didn't make a whole lot of them, right? So that's probably why, right? It makes sense. Take a look at these real quick, and then that is gonna wrap it up, man. Cargo Bob on Benny's. So, uh, Savage on F1s, uh, that's a demo one I dropped years ago. But yeah, man, that's pretty much it, guys. Like, subscribe, share, like I said, hit me up on, uh, sorry for the long video, but I had a lot of vehicles to go through. Uh, hit me up on the socials, man, let me know if you guys can have any of these. This is Mods Gaming, man, and I'll see you crazy people later.